He wants to learn the taste of a bullet, to shoot people down with poetry, with the spoken word, to be careless, lift his chin and leave massacres in his wake. But he knows how it feels to be on the receiving end of an insult. He carries cities in his ribcage filled with the chalk outlines of his former selves. He wants to bulldoze the cities peeking into the fleshy parts of his chest. A friend tells him to consider the weight of a dream or its absence of weight. And that eases the feeling in his chest. He discovers that his old selves are resting. He imagines his chest opening out like the roof of a toy house. Some lie in hospital beds, wish they could melt and sit like a patch of grass or a puddle in the middle of a corridor, become the smallest body of water. The hospitalized cell sense someone or something like a shadow peeling itself from the polished floor and watches the nurses strut by and hears one mutter, I think someone's had an accident. And then he thinks about all that he has, and that eases the feeling in his chest. On those days, he wants the sky to open up and swallow him home.